Here we are, two months after she was gunned down in southwest Baltimore. Police say they have arrested the person responsible for her death. A teenager has now been charged with first degree murder in the August killing of 15 year old Janai Whedon. WMER 2 News Ray Strickland got reaction tonight from her family. The Anna 15 year old Janai Whedon says the arrest in her niece's case doesn't take away the pain of her death, but she says she is happy to know that the person responsible won't be able to hurt another family. It's been tough. It's been very, very tough for my whole entire family. Chanel McCarter says it's been a depressing past two months for the entire family, knowing that her niece's killer still walked free. It, it hasn't been easy. McCarter says when she first got the news about an arrest made in her case, she says she felt a huge weight lifted off of her shoulders. All we've been doing on the phone since we've been calling family members is just screaming, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Whedon did hair and was a talented makeup artist with dreams of opening her own salon. In August, the 15-year-old was murdered in the 3700 block of Gelston Drive in Southwest Baltimore. Baltimore police say they arrested a 16-year-old boy in connection to Whedon's death. He's been charged with first degree murder and is currently in police custody. It's sad um, because now um, someone else loses their life at a young age. He has to now um, go to prison and, and serve out his sentence and, um, you know, because of a foolish mistake, uh, a silly decision, um, emotions or whatever it was, um, it wasn't worth what he did. It wasn't worth taking her life. McCarter says the arrest doesn't get rid of the pain of losing Janai, but she says she takes comfort knowing her accused killer is off the streets. It's a happy moment that justice has been served and that um, the person was caught. But again, it's still heartbreaking because we don't have her. And Janai's aunt says her niece will forever live on in the hearts of the entire family. Reporting in Baltimore, Ray Strickland, WMAR 2 News.